How's it going, everyone? This is Essential Cast, and welcome back to another Rambling with Blake. Um, you know, I really should keep up um, the old, like, tradition and say it's been a while, despite the fact that it hasn't been a while. It's only been a few days. Or, I suppose it's not really a tradition, but because sometimes it's legitimate, but I really should just say it. So, you know, I'm going to say it. It's been a while, despite the fact that I just uploaded one of these yesterday. Um... So, hello, everybody. Hi, anybody who's listening. Alright, so, I wanted to do another one of these, because I realized there was something I completely forgot to point out. I was just going to mention it in, like, a sort of behind-the-scenes thing, because I was going to do, like, a behind-the-scenes type thing. Um, I wanted to do, like, a behind-the-scenes thing of, um... Of uh, you know the thing, um, I wanted to do behind the scenes of um, I completely oh, to this guy's rebirth, completely forgot what I was doing for a second there. Um, but anyway, there was something I completely forgot to mention, and that's the fact that the e think of about like the ship that we're using, right? EX10 Pegasus. Which was the very first transdimensional vessel, other than the transdimensional alpha, which will be seen later. Um, which I'm planning on, like, doing. Um, I'm planning on making that be a thing in this series, which that's kind of a thing that just, I'm just mentioning now, as clearly stated by the, f uh, you know, uh, the fact that I haven't said it before. Um, but anyway... Uh, so, um, think about the EX-10. If you th remember BLR, Blake's Rob Rebirth, Lab, not Rab, I always say that. I, I always say Blake's Lab Re or Blake's Rab Rebirth, but when I want to actually say it, to say what I'm accidentally saying, I say it correctly. So I should start trying to say it incorrectly, and then I won't have problems with pronouncing it incorrectly. Um, you know what? I think I'll do that. Um, but, but anyway, um, if you remember Blake's Lab Rebirth, I did it again. Blake's Lab Rebirth. Um, like, back during that series, um, I was using the EX-11 Intrepid. So, um, the EX-10 Pegasus is actually the predecessor of the vehicle that will later be used in that rebirth series um which i might do a cinematic conclusion to i'm thinking about it i probably will eventually um but anyway so i've kind of got an idea so uh i'm kind of gonna mention what's gonna happen for like uh, for or like when this is gonna take place because I, j I i only just figured this out hold on i gotta figure out i gotta go back to the dates hang on um, okay, and of course my internet's not cooperating. It's being kind of slow to load. My god. Which, by the way, I didn't realize how long it's been since the Rebirth series, honestly. I didn't realize that. Whoops, this is not the one I wanted to select. I wanted to select the first one, because that'll get me the accurate date for what I'm looking for. And to the skies, for that matter. I didn't realize how long ago that... To the skies was like I know it's been a while, um, considering Skyrim. I was roiding, rec roiding. I was recording Skyrim around that time, which I really want to record again. The problem is, well, it automatically played. That scared me. Um, it annoys me so much. Something happened. My computer restarted. For some reason, it won't run anymore. And it annoys me so much because I planned on, like, going from Skyrim, or from a Fallout adventure, like, to a Skyrim adventure later on, but I can't, and it kind of annoys me. Um, okay, I'm looking at the dates here, so this was the very last episode of To the Skies. To the Skies, episode 44, Discovery Relaunch, Minecraft Mod Pack. That's the, the full title. 
Um, minus the weird up and down line things that I use in my titles. I don't know what those are called. Uh, but I know several of the other like weird keys on here, like the tilde and everything. I don't know why I don't know that. Um, but anyway, so I'm looking at the vi that video, which and uh, that was on August 18, 2017. I didn't realize how long it's been. Um, so a couple months short of a year. That's so surprising. I didn't realize how long it's been. Um, but anyway. Um, oh, I didn't, okay. There was a comment on there that I, I hit love on. That's like an option for videos. But I didn't actually like it. I just did that on a video from November 2017. November 1st, 2017. Alright, so it was September 2017 is when this series is taking place. Um, the lab rebirth, or not lab rebirth, um, DTS rebirth to the skies rebirth, um, which, um, I'm, I'm really liking this series so far as I mentioned, and so now I don't know what I'm planning on, I didn't plan on anything else, so I'm just gonna keep on rambling, so, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll think of something, what I do for these is I usually just, like, Try to think of something, and then I'll end up saying something random, and then I branch off from that. So, um, okay, so it's been a while since a lot of these series that i played, which there's some games that I didn't want to get rid of. Like, that's kind of the thing, is I wanted to bring back Skyrim, but it won't run on this system anymore. I don't know what it is. I don't know if the new update just kind of made it to where it is incompatible. Um, because it was like... It was kind of similar to, um, like, when I was out of curiosity, I was just kind of curious, like, if Fallout 3 would run on the system. Because I had Fallout 3 already. I had the Game of the Year edition. Um, and so out of curiosity, I tried to run it, and I think it did about the same thing. So I'm wondering if this just new update, something happened, and it just is incompatible. Which actually just updated, so might as well try it again. Honestly, I'm not expecting much, but... Oh, Steam needs to update. Okay, well, I'll do that later then. Um, but there were, like, games like Star Trek Online, which I loved, but it glitched quite a bit. Like, um, out of the blue, uh, out of the blue, it would just randomly start running off. Um, like, the character would start running around. And it was, it was a bit annoying, um, and, like, um, there were, there are games like Gmod, which I want to bring back, but the problem is, it's so hard to find mods that will work properly, and, like, maps and such, um, okay, um, so it's kind of hard to find, like, mods and maps, because it's so many creators on there rely on other games like half-life is one of them and like half-life's one of them um uh, counter-strike is one of them but the problem is those are older games that won't run on all new systems like not every new system will is compatible with them and so that's a bit of a pain because if it's reliant on something i can't run i just can't use it and, um, it's, it's a little bit annoying, like, to this, to say the least, it's quite annoying, um, that, um, to say the absolute least, it's quite annoying that I can't do that, um, and, it, I, okay, you, you get the point, it's just kind of annoying how, it seems like, in a way, Gmod is more reliant on other games than it is on the platform that it's actually running on. Like, when, from like a matter of, or from like a certain point of view, like you can, if you look at both of them, you can see that it's kind of getting to that point where it's more like reliant on other games. And I think that's a little bit, like, annoying that it's kind of getting that way. Um, 
Oh, another thing is something I'm quite excited about, which um, I'm going to be doing in other videos. Um, I'm going to be doing other videos like this soon, but I did a mod versus mod like a year ago. Um, I'll look at the exact date to be sure. I'm just kind of surfing through my channel, just looking at things. But um, that was something... Uh, uh, that intro scared me. Or it didn't really scare me. I was just kind of surprised about it. But anyway, um, that was March 18, 2017. I actually rec Wait, hang on. Is this? Hang on. Okay, um, never mind. I, I was, I was curious if that was the old mic. No, it's this one. Um, but anyway, um, something I'm, I'm planning on bringing back the mod versus mod. Uh, I'm planning on bringing back mod versus mod. And something I didn't realize until recently is that mod versus mod actually reads triple digits. I didn't realize that. Like, I think it's the... Um, I think I have two or three videos that have reached triple digits. Oh, whoops. I hit the wrong thing. Or I, I know I've got some that are at least close to it. Most popular. Okay. Sorting by most popular. Um, yeah. My top video is the Enterprise Battle one. Um, oh, I've got two, two videos that are triple digits. And I got one, which is a Stargate Gmod mods. Um, that's pretty close to it. It's 92 as of right now. Um, but I'm planning on bringing back some of these things because I, I do enjoy them, or I did enjoy them quite a bit, and I'd like to start doing them, but, you know, as I've mentioned, um, it's kind of difficult to find something that's compatible with my system. Um, and so one thing I am sure of is I found this NX01 Enterprise map. For Gmod, it runs fine. It runs perfectly. I might do a battle on that map. I would love to. Do it like a second part to the Enterprise battle. I'll change it to NX01 Enterprise instead of Star Trek Enterprise. Um, because I did call that one Star Trek Enterprise battle. Which wasn't like Star Trek Enterprise like the TV show. It was just the Enterprise from Star Trek. It was the original series Enterprise. Um, but... I'm gonna go ahead and bring that back. I think I'm wanting to. I've wanted to do a battle on that map for a while, um, ever since I first found it, and I just never got around to it. I know I didn't. I just recently do. Uh oh yeah, I did three weeks ago. I did a um, apocalypse thing. Um. I uh, yes. Um, these things, like, I'll think about them, I'll think about these series and stuff, or, like, these videos I do, and they'll seem recent, but then I'll look at the date, and I'm like, oh, that's quite a while ago, um, because I remember recording a lot of the videos, like, I remember so clearly recording that very first video, well, the first video that I uploaded, I recorded ones out of a test, but I hated them, I never have hated a video more i just didn't like the way i don't know um i just didn't like the way they turned out i originally like the original series which was just like a lab series it was basically the same thing as blake's lab but i just didn't like the way i just didn't like the way it seemed and so uh i ended up changing it up um and I'm quite glad I did that. But, um, anyway. Um, that's my rambling there, um, about old videos and stuff. But I deleted all of those and I read it everything. Like, I deleted them from my computer. I never uploaded them. My first uploaded video is the first uploaded video. Like, it's the one scene. Like, I, did, I never uploaded anything before that on this channel. Um, I did several years ago. Like upload a video like that wasn't the very first video I uploaded because I uploaded one video before that and that was an unlisted video and it was for like a school project years ago um and so um 
Um, I, that wasn't the very first video. I think I mentioned this in another rambling video. I think I did it in, like, rambling with, like, seven is when I think I did that, uh, or I mentioned it. Um, but I, I'm really enjoying bringing back rambling videos because I like them because I just kind of sit back and I just talk and it, it, it feels, um, uh, it almost feels like I'm connecting to you more. Like, it feels like I'm talking directly to you and so because commentating I am talking to you but um I don't know this seems like because it's it seems like there's not something like blocking it I feels it, it's almost like um um like if you know like history um Franklin F Franklin Roosevelt did fireside chats and uh and um it was like a radio broadcast and that's how he kind of talked to people and people felt like um they were kind of uh being spoken to directly from him um that's what i'm wanting these to kind of seem like because th like the the regular videos and stuff the regular games and stuff it's it is that but essentially it there's like a game it's like a game between the speaker, the listener, and and it, this seems more personal because you can you don't even really have to look at the screen. You can just sit back and just listen because it's just the same picture and stuff. Um, and I I quite like that. I I like speaking. It feels more direct. That's everything I just said. Um, in four words, there it feels more direct. I don't know why I didn't just say that to begin with. Because that would have made a lot more sense and a lot better sense if I would have just said that. Or I suppose not really more sense. But it would have been a lot more, like, it would have been a lot better if I did that. Um, and, yeah, so. So, um, some of my ramblies. My rambles here. I don't know why I called them ramblies. Um... There's my rambles there about why I like rambling. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Um, so, um, I, I'm, I'm liking bringing this back. I'm thinking about doing it. Remember, I remember the one I said before I brought back this. Before I came back for seven, I said I was going to start doing these on Wednesdays. And I never did. Um, or I did it for two Wednesdays straight. And then I never did it again until a couple of days ago. Or a few days ago. What was it, like a week? Yeah, a week. Um, um, so I did kind of say that previously. Um, but... Uh, I never did, but I'm actually thinking I might actually do that. Um, sorry, allergies. Um, because it's Iowa, and now it's suddenly sunny. And the sudden change in weather is causing my allergies to go insane. Um, which is, usually my allergies don't really bother me unless I travel. Like, Florida trip. Like, when I took a, went to Florida back in December, um, my allergies bothered me for a bit. Um, for like the first day, my allergies were really bothering me. The second day wasn't too bad. But like the, like traveling kind of like makes my allergies go a little bit crazy and stuff. Like I went to Minneapolis just recently, like, um, back in March. Um, and we, we left on March 22nd. We were, we were in Minneapolis for a couple of days and I, a couple of friends of mine and I, um, and and then they kind of bothered me, but not nearly as much because we weren't traveling that much. Um, like it was still a couple hour, a few hours, but like we took frequent stops, and it it wasn't like it it wasn't like um like when I went to Florida back in December, which I I don't know why I keep saying back in December. I could have just said it the first time, and the the rest are just unnecessary. Um, but going to Florida and stuff, I used to, like, have problems. I had a lot of problems with, um, like, uh, like my allergies and stuff. Because it, that was, like, I think it was 26 hours of driving. Because we drove there. 
or like we were kind of like we we went there by vehicular device and not like the fly plane things. I don't know why I didn't just say plane, um, because planes are expensive and I don't like spending a lot of money because I'm a cheap person. Yeah, I I like spending money, <laughs> or. <sighs> I just said the exact opposite of what I wanted to say. I don't like spending a lot of money on things. I'm cheap. That's just who I am. Um, but anyway, um, th there, there you go. There, there's my rambling about allergies. It wasn't even that much about allergies. It was just me kind of like saying it. It kind of branched off into a bunch of randomness and a deep, dark place where... Um, something rather, I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, but it, uh, I'm kind of enjoying, I'm enjoying bringing this back. Um, I'm just going back to that. I'm enjoying, like, going back to this. And, uh, I just want to, I want to say, oh, uh, I'm probably going to start doing these as much as possible. And another thing is, um, what I'm planning on doing, um, is, like, like, what I'm planning on doing is I'm wanting to, um, start, like, um, doing, like, I'm, like, the To This Guy's Rebirth, it requires quite a bit more editing, and it's, it's kind of a bit more difficult to do, and so they'll probably be, like, once or twice a week, which I do, I really wish I could push them out more. I wish I could have had them um, more like a week, but, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that, um, I'm not really gonna be able to do that, so I'm just gonna kinda, I think I'll probably just be sticking to about the point where I'm gonna be doing them around once or twice a week, I, I try to push them out as much as possible, but, um, I feel like if I kinda r try to rush them, it's gonna be apparent that I'm rushing them, and stuff like, um, like, because of, like, the fact that Galactic Labs is incomplete, whenever I film a clip there, I had to build that part where the clip will take place. Like, um, there's a bit, I'm planning on having, like, a bit from Galactic Labs each time. Like, not, like, necessarily me, like, there, but just, like, of Watson and stuff when they discover, um, like, when they're trying to contact me, but they're not having any success. Um... And you're gonna find out more about like the loc or like the position I'm in, um, but it's gonna be quite fun. You're gonna find out some more in part two or episode two, not part two. Um, uh, in episode two, you're gonna find out a little bit more, which I'm excited about. Uh, if these are kind of taking a while, I really, I'm being 100% serious. I really wish I could push out more, but they wouldn't be that much. They wouldn't have that much quality to them if I did push them out more. Um, but anyway, I think that's going to be it for this one. But anyway, thank you so much for listening. That is all for this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to comment tell me what you have. Also, be sure to share and subscribe for the uploads. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.